Okay, coffee can be that go-to drink when you're looking for that added bit of comfort. So why not create a coffee bar at home that features your own signature creamers and syrups? Our friend Shane Henry has some creative tips on how to do this. And we should say that you were usually here showing us some phenomenal tips for our homes yeah. with um, you know different decorative things. But you also have a coffee shop in Waxahachie. Yes, yeah, so we opened the coffee shop and as hard as it was for me not to bring a bunch of vintage stuff today, <laughs> I really wanted to feature our coffee. Um, and, and some of the things that you can do in your own home to have that higher class coffee experience where you're not just going to your Keurig machine yeah. and getting a fast cup of coffee. Which is what happens at my house every morning. So I love this, especially um, if you have house guests. Yes. This is a great way to set up your this coffee in the morning. This is great, especially if you've got the space to do it. Mm -hmm. Leave something out with a little note for them so when they wake up in the morning, they're ready to, whether they want to do a hot tea for themselves or they really want to get into a good coffee, they've got that option available. Okay, let's start with coffee and give me all your recommendations for how, the things we need to have in our little coffee bar. Yeah, so one of the apps Absolute first things. Um, coffee is basic. It's it's a bean and water. So you want a good filtered water, and that's mm -hmm. something that don't skip on. Don't just go to your tap. If you get a good filtered water, it's going to make a difference it in your bean. It does make an absolute difference in the way it tastes. The other sure. is your bean. Um, there's no reason to be going to your grocery store and buying a bean that's been on the shelf for two months. Um, go to a local coffee house. Most of them, especially in our area, coffee's gotten so popular. Um, the beans are fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, mine come in once a week. So. It's something that even if you went to an actual roaster, you could find a bean that is fresher than what you're going to get Again, at the grocery store. Again, it makes such a difference, but can yeah. we talk about this one for a minute? Uh, I knew because we were going to get to this. this is one of the coffees that you carry, and tell us how special this is, because this is a local guy. Right, so this is local to um, to my Waxahachie area. He's in Ennis. Um, he does a rye whiskey barrel-aged bean. So he takes a oak cask, aged in this rye whiskey, mm -hmm. um, and then he puts the green bean in it, sits for two weeks, and then after two weeks, they take that out, they roast the bean, and you get a coffee that just has this extra note you can't get somewhere else. Ooh. So Buna Bean does that for us. It's, oh, it's I wonderful. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah. All right, and so, you know, definitely you want to Yeah, so let's go back over to the grinder, though. Um, You've got your beans, you've got your water. Now you need to talk about your extraction method. And one of the things that I recommend to everybody who's gonna set up an at-home coffee bar is to upgrade your, your grinder. You want okay. a burr grinder. Um, if you don't have a hand grinder, you wanna do something like this, you can pick these up for as cheap as $30, but it makes a significant difference in the extraction you're gonna get on your bean. Really, so if you so if you keep the whole beans, quick question for you too. Yeah. If I have this whole bean coffee, do I keep it in the freezer or do no. I keep it in the fridge? Miss no. Numer. Okay. Yeah. Miss Numer, um, yes, there there are signs out there says that that can keep it fresh, but it also ruins the, the bean overall. Okay. Good, so good don't don't put your coffee in the freezer or the fridge, um, and don't buy more than you're going to use. Buy a pound at a time. There's no reason to have a five-pound bag of coffee at your house. Right, right. Um, but yeah, after you grind, pick how you're going to do your, whether you want to do a pour-over method, which I brought um, our Chemex, a Clever, a V60, and a French press. Most people... Oh my gosh, you're like speaking another language I know, just like I know throwing the French out press. So many I have one of those. Yeah, this one's pretty familiar. This is a reverse French press, basically. The coffee, the filter goes in, the coffee goes in, and you have total control because there's this handy clever on the bottom that will hold your water in place until you put it over your cup and then it'll leak out. Wow. Yeah, so you can so control just add the hot water to the mm -hmm. top of it and it seeps through. Yes, yeah, so you control your immersion on this one. This is kind of the very opposite. This you have to be very talented when you're doing your pour over if you're going to get a great cup of coffee. Yeah, out and of don't that. pick this up to drink it like right. it's a, like it's a yeah, coffee. Yeah, you'd want to use that crap. Mine. And then same thing with the Chemex in it. It's been out for for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to use one of these methods and eliminate an entire coffee machine, you can, and you're going to get a better cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, but if you are going to go to your to your standard at home drip machine, do yourself a favor, filter your water, get a good bean, use a burr grinder. Um, and your first result's gonna be incredible. Okay, um, can we talk about creamers and flavorings? Because I know, let's talk about can we please? Because yeah. I know to the to the coffee people out there who love their coffee just plain and black and and good. I I really like to flavor mine up. Yeah, and and when you're doing that at home coffee bar, another big thing is being able to kind of show off your your spread. So, um, toppings. Shakers, you can put anything yeah. in that from candy sprinkles to cinnamon to a brown cinnamon sugar. On yeah, top of the coffee that's makes wonderful. Such a um, your creamers, please get rid of your milk jugs. Put your creamers in something, whether it be a glass carafe or a little stainless steel pitcher that you can keep in a little fridge or something. Um, in your syrups, whether you go out and buy a Tarani or a name brand syrup or you mix your own, um, there's so many recipes How do we mix out your there. Own? Oh Just my get goodness. Online and find yes, a go online. Um, I'll put one up on the fresh page that we use as a vanilla that you guys can go out and check out. Um, ditch your boxes in your containers. It's a huge thing about 
when you're setting it up. Do yeah. something vintage here. This is like signature you right here. Yeah, that is so me. A little vintage box that you Filters can in, here. in a glass container, your stir is out of there, and it just brightens up your space and makes it something that's you and unique to your, it your home. It makes your coffee experience wonderful. And this yeah. is like such a part of my morning coffee yes. that I do want it to be just spectacular. You want it to be spectacular. I'm gonna just start coming to your coffee place every morning. I'm gonna drive to Wasatchee <laughs> we'll every happen. morning yeah. and make that happen. Yes, you, Shane. Lisa, it's great as always. Okay, be sure to stop by for a cup of joe at Shane's latest venture. It is called Fresh Market, by the way, and it's located off the downtown square in Waxahachie. I'm gonna go check it out this weekend, I think. Yeah, come down. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah. We'll, have we'll fun. do that. Scott and I'll we'll have. do your pour over. Okay. Good idea. More broadcast right after this.